Okay. Welcome everybody to game two of the series. We had a very fun game one. It was 45 minutes long and they were just duking it out, but Dave took it pretty squarely with a 334 VP victory. He, uh, he just took pretty not amazing early map control, honestly. It was pretty even for map control. Maybe a slight advantage for Dave, but he was able to use that to get a very healthy armada of tanks out and just overwhelm Talisman's armor. He just couldn't quite keep his tanks alive. His Raketenwerfers were never quite in position. He didn't put down enough defensive mines, and Dave really punished him for it. He just went in hard with his Jacksons and Shermans and picked up tank after tank, had a Vet 3 Jackson by the end, and that was the game. So, something slightly different this time. Talisman not playing U.S. forces. He's going to actually be Soviets. Dave is sticking with the Oberkommando West, though, so we'll still see OKW. Seems to be a favorite faction on this map in particular. Overcommando West is is just strong on this map, I think, with the Kubel and in general they just feel a little strong, I suppose. Plus, I know Dave is much more comfortable with the Western Front armies. So, we'll see what happens. We've got Talisman. As Armored Assault, Mechanized Support, Guard Rifle, and Classy Dave as Fortifications, Spec Ops, and Luftwaffe. I know Talisman loves Armored Assault, so that's what I'm expecting to see. And for Dave, I don't know, probably any of these would be fine. <laughs> any of these would be fine. The Commander options as as Over Commando West usually don't seem that important. You only you generally use like one or two abilities from a Commander. Maybe the Command the command Tank, that's pretty a, a big deal often. But we'll see what happens. Talisman goes with his three conscript opening. And Dave going with Kuba Wagon and Folks Grenadiers. Hey Romeo, thanks for streaming this. Could you explain how the smoke works? It has to be in the line of vision. What happens if other unit has vision? Uh, I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I fully understand the question, but it does block. It does block line of sight. Yeah, it blocks line of sight, and you cannot fire at units in smoke with small arms anyway. I hope that answers the question. Orcon's out for Talisman. His map control in the early game is always fantastic. He is able to work magic with four conscript opening. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing it right here. He's got both fuel points. Neither munitions point is capped by either player, but Talisman looks like he's going to win the race, the munitions race as well. All squads being forced to retreat left side. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. Good work, comrades. This now belongs to us. A sector has been cut off. We have the point. Things have quieted down. Dave is going to look for an opportunity left side, but he's still sending quite a large amount of his forces right too. Prepare for combat. Got his first truck in base. Talisman has his first flamethrower. He often goes with a second one, and in fact, the second combat engineer squad is already on its way. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. One retreat forced, two retreats forced. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Take on our supplies. 
Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Not able to find his way to safety. Those combat engineers hunted him down. Kuba Wagon is down. First pickup of the game. Nice find there by Talisman. Things have quieted down again. Talisman uh, not doing, actually, that well for map control now. Normally he does better. Dave is giving him a little bit of trouble, though, even with even having lost his Kubel. He actually got a forward strategic point. And this VP, randomly. <laughs> Black half track out for Dave. Seems to be popular. Against Soviets, might be tough to pull off. I expect Talisman's gonna be going AT grenades to try and set up an assault on that thing, similar to Dave's assault in game one. We certainly didn't see it do much of anything in game one. Dave must be hoping he'll have uh, a little more success with this unit. Dave going straight for the cutoff. Pretty aggressive. Supply sector under attack. I think Dave senses a flank coming and wants to pull back. There's not a flank coming, but... Bill didn't feel comfortable in that forward position, so he lets him have his cutoff for now. T-70 out. Does Dave have the tools? Protect himself from a T-70. I don't see any defensive mines. There is one Rakettenwerfer, but it's nowhere near his flak half-track. I think his flak half-track might be about to die. Just sitting there. It's a sitting duck. Oh, no. The T-70 just rotated, though. Lucky. Lucky for Dave. The talisman doesn't seem to know where his flak track is. Oh, or does he? He's gonna find it. Oh, no, he just found it. All right. <laughs> Dave working on an engagement over here, but that flak half track is dead. I don't really think there'll be anything Dave can do to save it. Unless, unless RNG is extremely kind to him. Which I don't think it will be this time around. Nope, there it goes. In both games, the flag half track does essentially nothing. I do not know what Dave was thinking, sending that right completely unsupported. 
Not even by a mine, just nothing. Could have been supporting his main force with that. Probably would have done better in the left side engagement, and maybe it would still be alive. That's painful. Going to be playing from behind now. We'll have to try and deal with the T-70. His map control is certainly still good, although the right side is unopposed. Conscript squad could just go take that. Dave will have to concentrate all of his efforts here for now. Try and set up a defensive wall that the T-70 can't crack. Nice mind sweeping by Dave. Well, at least get a few mines cleaned up. Dave's mines. Dave has been completely forced from the field. His defensive wall was not able to hold left. T-70 will probably clean him up right. He's about to be base locked. Is asking for it. For Kettenworth arrives to support, but he'll insta retreat when he sees three conscripts. Blair kills a uh, folks grenadier mid. Dave trying to slow the victory point drain. He's already down to 364, though. Low on manpower. And low on useful units. He had to go double Rick Kettenwerfer. Feel safe against the T70. Means he's operating on just three Folks Grenadier squads instead of four. I don't think he's lost any. He just never produced a fourth one. It'll be hard to beat four cons. Oh, actually, he did wipe a Conscript squad, or maybe there were only three. Were there only three? There were only three. No, there were four. He wiped one. I missed a wipe. That's too bad. Conscript squad got wiped, apparently. So Dave has actually gotten a wipe. He lost his half track, but he did pick up a wipe in exchange. I suppose that helps. I know, how could I miss the first wipe of the game? You need light anti tank support? Terrible caster. Guard squad ready. Tier 4 up for Talisman. And he has not gone Armored Assault, Dave for Jet, and he went Guard Rifle. For Guards. I actually haven't seen him use Guards all that much, I don't think, but he's going to this game.
We might even see a KV-1. <laughs> I guess that could happen. I don't think so. I, I'm just saying words. I'm sure there will not be a KV-1, but we probably will see a Command Panther. Since I don't think he went Spec Ops for STG overs. How about that tier 4 placement? I'm surprised he didn't put that in a more aggressive location. I mean, against Soviet T-70. It'd be pretty useful to have that on your cutoff or, or more out here. Don't really have any reason to suspect that there's a tier 2. There's no Maxim or anything. It's just conscripts and guards. I mean, he does have it. I mean, he, yeah, he does have it here too. But like, I don't know. Usually, when Soviets go T70, they don't make huge takedown attempts on the Cobra Commando S tier four. So you can afford to be a little more aggressive than against U.S. forces, which just has like tons of ways to destroy tier four. Four is out. Enterprise timing is not quite right, so it doesn't take engine damage. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Oh no. Folks turn into your squad just got wiped somewhat needlessly. Standing in front of a T-70, they got gunned down. I think that's the first squad that Dave has lost. Two Folks turn into your squads is not enough to survive on. He's going to have to repurchase, I think. Though he does have two MG-34s. It's not that easy to micro either. Going to try. He does, of course, have Obers. And he actually is, to, he has pretty okay victory point control so far as well, honestly. 343 to 355 is dead even. And if Talisman loses even 20 more victory points, he'll actually, uh, he'll actually fall behind in the victory point game. Even if he wins. Very quiet, just spreading out. Dave somehow has quite good map control, despite seeming to be maybe behind. I don't even... Is he behind? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. Cutting off the fuel over here. Nice fuel cut off. Controlling the right side fuel and VP. A lot of Talisman Zenas just kind of hanging out. In base or otherwise. There they go. Dave actually has a triple cap right now. We have a new T-34 standing by. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Big push right. This isn't going to be able to win against all that stuff for sure. Two T-34s plus a bunch of PPSH cons and guards. Flamethrower walks right into him G34, sort of. They do get suppressed. Cons have to retreat. Folks Renegade is moving to support. Over here, Dave makes a full retreat knowing that there is absolutely no surviving this. I don't think the T34s are gonna dive the base, are they? 
No, we'll just stop right there. T-70, looking for an opportunity. Gonna take engine damage. Before forcing Dave to maybe retreat. Or just stand there. Another engagement happening here. Nice dodge. There's a lot of stuff happening on the map right now, but he didn't take any damage whatsoever from that. Doesn't dodge those, though. Of course, they didn't really do all that much. Don't think those folks grenadiers can win this. Oh, they're forced away. Certain pyros might be able to clean that up. Meanwhile, everything in the base looks like it's pretty much fine. T-34 has scared everything off. Still no mines. Not a single mine planted by Dave. Not that he uh, isn't spending his munitions, of course. He is spending the munitions just out of mines. Except for right here. There's one. Okay. Mine going down on the left side fuel. Panther is on the field. Working on guards. They're gonna be forced away. Meanwhile, in the middle, our Kenworth is trying to take the VP back, keep the train going, and uh, Dave has secured himself a victory point lead. Even if Talisman were to win this game, he would only have 294 VPs. Dave won game one with 300. So, well played, Dave. That's an important milestone. Panther scares off the T-70. Folks Grenadiers recover the Rakuten. And this ability, by the way, is one of the most controversial of the tournament, I think. It is notoriously deadly. Probably one of the... Uh, Probably one of the best candidates for rebalancing in the uh, end of life update for this game. But that particular usage of it didn't do too much, so. No biggie. Schumann detonated under the T-70. That's a bit of a waste. No follow-up available. Maybe. No repairs nearby either. So actually, there is follow-up available. Panther's going to try and capitalize on that. Going in hard. Of course, he has to go through guards and conscripts that do have anti-tank grenades. So unless he's willing to completely dive, T-70 should be fine. T-34s are also available to support. Panther is reversing into battle. <laughs> Does get some hits. The 34s have to pull back to safety. Folks Grenadier is looking for an engine damage opportunity. Probably aren't going to find it. And there's an SU-85 on the field now. Talisman's map control paying off big time. There are so many Soviet tanks. Of course, the conscripts are making a very late retreat right there. Nice pickup for Dave. Talisman trying to micro his tanks. Doesn't pay quite enough attention to his infantry. Loses his squad. They weren't upgraded though, so not a huge loss, honestly. The 285 firing at the Panther. The 34 firing at the. Is that new? Dave bought a new flag half track to shoot down planes, I assume. Let's see if that pays off. Planes are actually coming in right now. He's gonna try and pick up the SU 85. I think he's gonna get it. Oh no, SU-85 goes down. Will the T-34s try to trade? This one is angry and going in hard. There, are, there is a Rakettenwerfer available to support here. Black Half-Track isn't really shooting those planes down. 
Engine damage on one T-34. And okay, there they go. Both planes shot down, actually. Both planes shot down. Nicely done by Dave. Looks like there may actually be some counterplay options for that ability. Kind of expensive to do, but it got it done. Of course, it doesn't shoot them down until after they've made a pass, and sometimes one pass is all it really takes to do massive damage, and Dave is completely forced from the battlefield, but still, yeah, something. I buy the infantry area denial argument. <laughs> I mean, it's really just a matter of time before a T-34 just rolls up and annihilates it if you actually try and use it offensively. Getting workers couldn't find a line. Grenade out. Doesn't really matter. These constructs cannot possibly win this engagement without T-34 support, which has arrived. There's no anti-tank around, so Talisman should be able to hold the uh, right side. On the left side, constructs are getting gunned down, as are some guards. And there's a T-34. That's a 76. Man, with the fuel tank model, it's I get confused. Ooh, big hit on the flag half track. <laughs> Enemy fire! Enemy fire! Panther's fully repaired. Dave's struggling for map control, though. Can't seem to get a fuel point capped. And he can't seem to get the VP control either. There's just too many Soviet tanks. He has not managed to destroy. He picked up an SU-85. That was a huge pickup for sure, but... Panther still has a lot of work to do. Will he, will he go for it? It looks like he's thinking about it. He could have... He could have blitzed and killed that for sure. He was just afraid of that happening, that mine. His mine's all over the place. Smart play by Dave, I think. Not, It's not worth it just to pick up a T-34 to just YOLO in there without a minesweeper. In fact, he's purchased a second Sturmpyro squad for a Panzer Shrek. This squad does have the minesweeper upgrade, but they haven't, they haven't done, done enough scanning of the left side, so... Not really in a position to be getting too aggressive with his tank. Talisman setting up for another assault left. Two squads of guards. DPSH conscripts. Here he comes. Here come the super planes. Heavy damage to the Stern Pios and MG34. And the AA half track fails to counter. Big push by these tanks. Big push. Ken Warfer's not pointing in the right direction. He does have a Panzer Shrek, though. Good guy. 
god. Oh my goodness. I did nothing. It did nothing. Gunning down stern piles, left and right. Oh, the Panther's in big trouble. Big, big trouble. For Kenworth, it doesn't finish off the SU-85. Oh, if those T-34s dove, I, I think they could pick up the Panther. I really think they could have, but they didn't. Surprisingly. Gonna let Panther, let Dave's Panther get away for now. It's just so vulnerable. I can't believe he let that live. Dave does not have any mines, honestly. <laughs> really, he just has, like, none. There's there's a couple. Okay, there's a couple in some dubious locations, but none on the central road, which is arguably one of the most important spots to put them. The squad just got wiped right side. Folks Grenadier squad. That leaves him with only one Folks Grenadier squad remaining. And he is triple capped. It looks like Dave is losing momentum. Quickly. Orders complete. He's used the grenades. Yeah, he's used. Sure. Got 212 fuel as well. Not far from a truck. <laughs> I was gonna say not far from a command panther, but just kidding. Actually, on ISG and is going to deploy some smoke. Try and get the central VP captured. Panther, Panzer Shrek, and Raketten move up to try and scare off the T 34. So that'll back off. Fox Grenadier is working. Capturing the point. There's an MG 34. Poking at some of Dave's units in the middle. And it looks like he will lose control of the left side VP. Is it over? It's over! Why is it over? I don't think... I don't know if I'm 100% sure Dave was going to lose. Is he really? Okay. Uh... GG, I guess. Talisman taking game two in an unexpectedly abrupt ending. Maybe a disconnect. But it looks like a Talisman victory with 284 VPs. I'm going to double check in the Steam chat, but uh, I'm going to assume that's what happened. Stay tuned for game three.